Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Hi, Hi I'm fine. Thank you. Fine, very good. Happy to see you again. Have you practiced? Uh, yes, yes, I Yes. Do. Wow, excellent. Yesterday you say no, but now is everything okay? Congratulations. Mm -hmm. That's nice. How are you today, Guillermo? Hi, Guillermo. How are you doing? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can hear you now. How are you? How are you, teacher? Very well, thank you. It's nice to be here, ready to practice. Did you have any problem with the platform? Yes. Hemos trabajado un poco en la plataforma. Ah, okay, that's great, excellent. So, well, for today yes. we're gonna continue with the, well, I think we're gonna finish today the section number two. So, again, this is the wasting the time. And let's continue here. Yeah. Okay, I am sharing the screen with you. So in, today we're going to start with this topic with simple present WH questions and a statement. Okay. This topic is on the platform, it is part of the section number two. So I hope today we finish this section. Okay. So, um, we practiced this question the last time. Do you remember? We practiced this. So, let, um, let's practice pronunciation. Can you repeat? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job, too. I am a student. I have a part time job too okay good where do you work where do you work i work at hamburger heaven i work at hamburger heaven where do you go to school where do you go to school i go to the university of texas i go to the university of texas okay um, and the rest of you guys, you're not repeating. Daniel, Angel, Guillermo. No, <laughs> you're not repeating. You have to repeat. Almost, almost yeah, pronunciation is important. Okay. Um, what does Andrea do? What does Andrea do? She's a guide. Andrea? She takes people on tours. She's a guy. She takes, she takes people on tours. Okay, where does she work? Where does she, where work? Does she work? She, she does works she at work? Thomas Cook Travel. She, she works, works at Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. How does she like it? How does she, How does she like, she like it? it? She loves it. She loves, she loves it. it. Okay, let me ask you some questions. Um. Let's see, uh, Angel, what do you do? I, I, I learn English. Okay, and what is your profession? What's your occupation? <clears throat> um, I, I work with uh, medicine. Ah, you work with medicine. You're, you're a, um, do you work in a drugstore or or you prepare the medicines and you sell it? Uh, I work at uh, a drugstore. In a drugstore. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's ask you some questions here to Guillermo. What do you do? Uh, I want to work with what do you do? What is your, can you ask me the question, Guillermo? Ask the question to me. Mm. 
Ask me the question. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me the question. You ask me. What do you do? Yes. Ah, you are a student. You don't have a job. I am. Irene, what do you do? I work um talent talent human teacher. Uh, okay, uh, human you, talent. Human. Yeah. Ah, you work in the human resources. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Danielle, where do you work? Um, I work. I work. Um, the baking industry. I work at. I work at the baking industry. All right. Um, what does what does uh your do you have any sister? Sister, do you have any sister? Yes. Okay, what does your sister do? What does your sister do? What's her profession? What's her occupation? She works in the industry of what? Guadalupe, I see you there, Guadalupe. Good evening. Your microphone. Sorry. Okay, uh, how are you? Sorry. Fine, thanks. What do you do, Guadalupe? Uh, I am a psychologist. Oh, you're a psychologist. How, how yes. do you like it? I love it, my... My career. You loved your job. You loved your career. Yes. It should be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting because I help more people. Oh, you help many people. Yes, many people. Okay, that's perfect. Congratulations. Can you yes, ask you. any of these questions to Tony? Ask one of those questions to Tony, please. Okay, where do you work, Tony? I work in a foundation MPH for the children. Oh, that's interesting. How do you like it? How do you yes, like Yes, I like job? my job. Do you like your job? Interesting yes, I like to work. my job. You work to help children. That's a great thing. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> this is just to practice the simple present in this exercise. Remember that when we are talking um, in simple present, we have two kinds of simple present, ¿verdad? Hay dos, como decir, el simple present con el verbo to be y el presente simple con otros verbos. Cuando estamos hablando del presente simple con los demás verbos, usamos... Um, en preguntas, el auxiliar do o does. Recuerden que vimos unas presentaciones de, de esto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Do yeah. or yeah. does. Usamos yes, does cuando es... Tercera persona. Third 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 person singular. Third person. Singular. Con ellos se usa does. Y para negativa, doesn't, ¿verdad? Si yeah. es una oración afirmativa... Usamos esto, ¿verdad? Hacemos el cambio al verbo. My sister works in a hospital. My husband takes the children to school. Um, my sister studies English. Um, my mother teaches English. Uh, y así, ¿verdad? Cuando es oración afirmativa, vamos haciendo esto en la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Vamos poniendo S, E, S al verbo y esto. Cuando es pregunta, 
no cambiamos el verbo, ¿verdad? Porque ya el auxiliar indica tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya no le ponemos la ES ni nada de eso. Y lo mismo en oración negativa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí esto es ya en resumen. En resumen, el cambio al verbo de la ES, ES y todo eso para la tercera persona solo lo vamos a hacer en oraciones afirmativas. So, let's try to complete this exercise. Vamos a intentar completar este ejercicio para practicar. Um, I think that you have your notebook with you. Do you have your notebook with you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, let's try to complete this exercise. For example, the first question is, Como la respuesta le dice, I am a full-time student, I studied the violin. Entonces la pregunta era, what do you do? Cuando preguntamos, what do you do, estamos preguntando, ¿a qué te dedicas? ¿Qué haces? And, do you to school? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde vas a la escuela? ¿A qué escuela vas? Where do you go to school? Y ahí vamos a continuar completando. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para eso. Have you finished? No yet. No yet. It's quite a
Ready? Ready? No yet. <laughs> Not yet. You have to analyze <laughs> too much here. <laughs> I know. The, the simple present is one of the most difficult things. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the simple present is practice, practice, practice. Okay, time. Let's see. Um, huh. Let's read now. A volunteer to read number one. Volunteer to read the number one. What, uh, Angel? Angel. Angel. Okay, Angel. Angel. Angel, and then Irene, and number two. Okay, Angel, start. Okay, uh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do? I'm a full time student. I am a full time student. I study the violin. And I continue? Yes, please. Uh, and where do where do you go to school? Uh -huh. I go to the New York School School of Music. Uh, and uh, uh, what do you, do you like your classes? Uh, I, I I I like them a lot a, a lot. Okay, so check it says wow how how, how do you it, like excuse me uh huh uh, how do okay. you like your classes how and the rest like? excellent Angel very nice job now number two Irene okay what does Tiny do what she's a 
In that case, is does. What does? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What, what, does, what does? Yes. She's a teacher. Mm -hmm. She is a teacher. She teach teachers um, our class at a school in, De in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do ex exactly? He is a website designer. He works he works fantastic websites. He says very good, excellent. The last part, he designs fantastic websites, but the rest is okay. So you can check your answers here in the screen, but you did an, a very, very nice job. Thank you so much. You're okay, um, let us continue. Uh, yesterday we were practicing with prepositions of time, which is always part of a simple present. Okay, I think this, this is the topic. I want to participate. That. Okay, prepositions of time. Do you remember how do we use them? So, so. So, so, okay. more or less. Okay, here we have this chart and I'm going to go to another screen so we can chart a different thing. Okay, this is basically what we studied yesterday, but we didn't practice because of the time. So as you see, we have the prepositions of time here. You can see with at, we can say at night, okay? Because as you see, there is a difference. Hay un poco de diferencia en las partes del día, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan cuando vamos a decir en la noche o por la noche, decimos at, at night, at noon. Do you know what's the meaning of noon? Me, mediodía. Mediodía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Usted puede decir at noon or at midday. For example, you can say I have lunch at noon. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have lunch at noon, <laughs> or I have lunch at midnight, at midday, sorry. <laughs> huh? At midnight. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> sorry. And then at midnight, también con esa parte del día, cuando es medianoche, cuando usted se quiere referir a la medianoche, se usa at. At okay. midnight. At bedtime. A la hora de ir a la cama es at bedtime. At bedtime. At oh. sunrise. At sunset. Right? En el amanecer, at sunrise. En el atardecer, oh. at sunset. Okay? Mm -hmm. O cuando va a decir en el, en el fin de semana, at the weekend. Okay? At the weekend. At the weekend. Mm -hmm. At the weekend. And then, um, okay, and then you see, con in, vamos a decir in the morning. Cuando usted quiera decir en la mañana es in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, pero no puedo decir in the night. Eso es incorrecto. Con, cuando usted va a decir de noche, se usa at. At, at mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Y también cuando usted va a decir la hora de algún evento específico, se usa at. Por ejemplo, aquí usted ve que dice at 10.30, ¿verdad? Cuando usted va a decir la hora, por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir tengo clases en línea a las 8, I have online lessons at 8. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. So, cuando usted va a mencionar la hora, en la hora que un evento se lleva a cabo, se menciona at. ¿A qué horas toma el bus? I take the bus at 6 a.m. 
¿A qué horas tiene almuerzo? I have lunch at 1 p.m. ¿Ya? Y con las demás partes de esto. Con, cuando va a mencionar la mañana, va a usar in, in the morning. En la tarde será in the afternoon, in the evening. También va a usar in cuando mencione meses. Por ejemplo, in February. In February. También Richard, what do you mean evening? Evening. evening. Okay. The evening es el término que se utiliza para referirse a la tarde y noche. Ah, uh, evening, sí. Tarde evening, noche. ajá. Por ejemplo, si usted saluda a esta hora, tenemos que decir good evening. El good night uh, es solo cuando usted se despide, ya se va a dormir o ya se retira, good night. Yeah. Pero como para saludo de entrada, que usted llegó a una casa y es de noche, no puede decir good night. Se dice good evening. Ah, puede decir good sabe. evening como desde las, ¿qué? Las cuatro de la tarde. Mm. Ya es evening. O cinco quizás, evening. más tardecito. Good evening, ya desde las cuatro, digamos. Y good afternoon, ya es de doce de mediodía hasta como tipo cuatro. Todavía a las 5 quizás se puede decir good afternoon. El good evening ya es bien entrada a la tarde y noche. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. La evening. Ok, también vamos a usar in cuando vaya a mencionar un mes del año. In February, in January, in December. Ok. También se usa in cuando va a mencionar eh, una estación del año. ¿Cuáles son las estaciones del año? Summer, que es verano, ¿verdad? In summer. In summer. In summer. En la primavera. In the spring. In the winter. In the winter. winter. Oh. También menciona in cuando va a, a mencionar un año. Cuando va a mencionar el año, va a decir in y el año. Por ejemplo, in 2013. Ajá, en el 2013, ¿verdad? In 2013. También, cuando usted va a mencionar la, en, en la década, ¿verdad? En los in 90. In the 90s. In the 90s. Y con la expresión en pocos minutos. In a few minutes. Or in, in a minute. Ahora, va a usar on cuando se refiere a días, como por ejemplo, on Sunday, a decir, el domingo. I go to the church on Sunday. That can be one example. I go to the church on Sunday. I visit my mother on Sunday. Yeah. Um, I work on Monday morning, también. Uh, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday evening, cuando va a mencionar un día, entonces usa on. Y también para fechas importantes, on my birthday, por ejemplo. Cuando va a decir en mi cumpleaños, se usa on my birthday. No puede decir in my birthday ni at my birthday, sería incorrecto. On Mother's Day, en el día de la madre, on Mother's Day. ¿no? On, on Christmas, on Christmas Day, on a holiday, on May 5th, on a weekday, en un día de semana, on a weekday, a tiempo, on time, mm -hmm. on the weekend. Si se fijan de weekend, ok, en el Reino Unido, el, para referirse al fin de semana dicen at the weekend. Pero en Estados Unidos usan on, on the weekend. Uh, uh -huh. the weekend. En Estados Unidos comúnmente va a escuchar que dicen on cuando van a mencionar el fin de semana, on the weekend. En el Reino Unido, o sea, el británico dirá at the weekend. Well. El inglés británico es un poquito diferente al inglés americano. Ajá. Igual tienen algunas expresiones específicas, ¿verdad? Okay. Es como, como decir en El Salvador también tenemos palabras diferentes, ¿verdad? 
Aquí uh -huh. en San Salvador yo digo guacal y en San Miguel decimos paila. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Son cuestiones de regiones. De, de... Uh -huh. Ok, so let us practice the prepositions. No sé si le van a tomar un... un... ¿Qué esto? Ok, come on, please. <laughs> Ay, Dios. Vamos a ver si le puedo hacer zoom para que lo vean más cerquita. Ahí está. ¿Ready? Yes. <coughs> Ok, now we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar acomodando las preposiciones en estas oraciones. Ok. okay. Por ejemplo, my brother has a new job. He works in the evening. We're going to have a picnic y menciona Saturday afternoon. ¿Cuál era la preposición cuando mencionamos un día? On, on. On, on ajá, on Saturday on afternoon. Would you like to come? We're going to have a picnic on Saturday afternoon. Would you like to come? I'll give you some minutes for you to complete it. Where can you notebook? Have you finished that part? No yet. Okay, and yes, okay. Yes, no work. No, no. 
Mañana van de Gris y la paliza del Día Deportivo, que no sé si la tarde o no. ¿En serio? Yo no sé la de la Yes. Okay, we're going to check. Let us see a uh, volunteer for number. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see the hands up. Irene, number three. Three is I. I'll be finished my work. And um, uh, and. At an hour. Oh. Okay, Then, con, con la expresión de decir en una hora sería in an hour. Okay. In an hour. Cuando va a mencionar la hora exacta se usa at. Uh -huh. At oh, okay. ten, at seven, at eight. Pero cuando va a usar la expresión en una hora, en algunos minutos, is in an hour, in a few minutes, like that. Oh, okay. So great. Very then, good. Good try. Thank you so much. Uh, Tony, number four. When, it, when is the meeting? Mm -hmm. It's at two o'clock. Uh huh. Is it at two? Is it at two? Very good. Uh, volunteer for number five? Yes. Number five. Um, um, number five, I like to get up really early in surprise when the beers start to sink. Okay, in the sunrise. In, in sunrise. sunrise, when the birds start to sing. Very good, good job. Y se cambió el nombre otra vez. Dice visita médica. Carolina. 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 Thank you so much. <coughs> a volunteer for number six. Usen la manita. Daniel. Daniel, habilite su micrófono, por favor. Acuérdense que el micrófono ustedes lo pueden habilitar y deshabilitar. Yo los silencié a todos porque había mucho ruido. 
cuando usted escuche que en su entorno hay mucho ruido, póngale silencio a usted y luego lo habilita para participar. Ok, Daniel. Tom's birthday is a next week on January 14th. Ok, in January 14th. Ok, good job. Very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, number seven. Uh, Angel, I am a volunteer. Ok, Angel. My grandfather was born in the in 1950s. Ok, great job, Angel. Very good. Uh, volunteer for number eight. Number eight uh, will be will we be on time or will we miss or fly? Okay, will be on time or will we still fly? Uh -huh, on time. Okay, good. Now on number time. nine. Aún no encuentran dónde está la manita. Irene, Irene is using the hand. ¿A dónde encontró la manita, Irene? In the par par participa participante. Donde dice participantes en su barra de herramientas. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya vi que Judith la levantó. Hi, teacher. Hi, Judith. Ok, um, donde dice participantes, ¿qué más tiene que hacer ahí? Da clic en participantes y ¿qué más? Yes, uh, the, the option, the down, the, the hand, o... Uh, ajá. ajá, ahí tiene que, ahí está Guadalupe, ajá. Ahí dice, raise hand, en su caso Irene dice, down, down, que la baje, porque como ahorita ajá. la está, dice, down, usted misma la puede bajar. Uh -huh. ajá. Ya vi que la bajó. Y cuando la quiere subir, ¿cómo dice? Stand the hand. A stand the hand, ok. Ahí la van a encontrar. Así, así está mejor, ok. Thank you so much. Who did? Can you continue? Number nine, my family and I. Ok, my family and I like to skin on winter. Ok, very good, Judy. Thank you so much. Guadalupe, continue. Are there any holidays on October? Very nice. Thank you. Uh, number 11. A volunteer? Me, teacher. Ok, Carolina. Yo. Mm. Irene. Ah, no, Irene, no vi la manita y me pareció que era la voz de Carolina. <laughs> okay, okay, Irene. Dale, the number 11. Yes. The 11 is our school cafeteria opens for lunch at noon. Okay, at noon. Very good. Carolina, continue with number 12. What time does your son go to bed at night? Excellent. Number 13, a volunteer. We moved to this city in, in 2012. Okay, in 2012. Very good. Ya vi que varios encontraron la manita, pero les dio miedo y la quitaron. <laughs> Daniel. Ahí está. Daniel, can you continue, Daniel? Are you going to do anything special? Uh, on your birthday. On your birthday, excellent. On your birthday, and finally, number fifteen, Angel. <coughs> Angel. Eh, Solo estaba um, practicando con la manita. Sí. <laughs> sí. Eh, pero okay. Eh, I'm not going to watch uh, that TV show. It start at midnight. Midnight. Okay, well done. I see you did an excellent job using prepositions. So we're going to continue with the other um, part of the material. So we can finish this unit today. Did you check the platform? 
Yes. So in the platform, you saw this reading, right? This reading is in the platform. Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Uh-huh. Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Okay. Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Angel, why do you need a job? I need a job. Because? Um, because uh, I, I need a job because I, I like job. <laughs> you like to work. You like to uh, work. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I like. You enjoy working. Yes, I I enjoy my working. Okay, can you ask another another classmate the same question? Why do you need a job? I need a job uh, for money. Uh, 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 Guadalupe, why do you do you need a job? Why do you well, need a job, Guadalupe? Well, I need a job because I need to pay for some bills and for my food and for for my clothes and anything else. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you. I got bills to pay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Guadalupe, ask the same question to another classmate. Why do you need a job? Okay, Carolina, why do you need a job? It, uh, I need a job because it, it's the same. I have to pay my bills, my house, my car, uh, anywhere. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you, you've got many things to pay. <laughs> Okay, Carolina, continue. Ask the question to another classmate. Why do you need a job, Angel? Angel, it's already participate. Uh, why do you need a job, Daniel? Daniel. Daniel, why do you need a job? I need a job uh, because I like money. You like money. Me too, me too. We like money. We like money. Good I answer. For money. Okay, continue. Ask the same question to another classmate. Um, Lisa, why do you need a job? I need a job because life is expensive. Life is expensive, yes. <laughs> so we need job and money, right? Yeah. Okay, continue. Ask the same question to another classmate. Irene, why do you need a job? Um, hi, my, um, I need a job because mm -hmm. I have um, many, many pays. Payments to do. Pay, payments? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, okay. you've got many payments to do. Okay, good. Ask the question to another classmate. Um, I can see. We got Donnell, David, Judith, Isaac. Um, Tony? Okay. Okay. Tony? Okay. Tony, why do you need a job? Uh, because I need money to support my family. <laughs> okay, good answer, Tony. Continue. Ask the question to another classmate. Uh, what do you need a job in Guadalupe? Guadalupe? What do you need a job? Well, I need a job because I have a, 
a more uh, count because I need to pay for my bills, my school. Uh, ah. Coach, coach, teacher, sorry. How do you say cuenta bills? Okay, good. Uh, now, Isaac. Let's read. Isaac, are you there, Isaac? Hmm. David, Jonathan? Are you there, David? Hmm. We have some problems with the connection. Isaac, I can hear you, Isaac. Yeah. Okay, let us read. These people need jobs. Read about Hello? their schedule experience and why they need a job. Can you read about Julia Brown? I start, please. Yeah. I read? Yes. Hello? Yes, read. Really? Yes. Okay. Julia Brown. Okay. I study French and want to be a teacher someday. Someday. I have classes all day on Monday. On Monday. Thursday and Thursday. Tuesday. And on Wednesday and Friday. Afternoon. Oh. I usually. Se me, se, se me corrió la pantalla. Oh, really? Okay. Can everybody Thank see? You. Yeah. Okay. I usually study on weekend. I need a job because college is really expensive. I don't have any experience but experience. I am a fast experience but I am fast a fast learner 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 mm -hmm. learner learner do you have any question about vocabulary guys learner what is the meaning of learner fast learner a fast learner, cuando usted dice, I am a fast learner, está rápido. diciendo que soy una persona que aprende rápido. Aprende rápido. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, learn uh, es aprender. Aprender. Yeah. Ajá, y si usted dice learner, es como un aprendiz. Uh -huh. Ajá, soy un aprendiz rápido, aprendo rápido. Okay, a volunteer, raise your hand. A volunteer to read about any chance. Ángel. And Daniel will read the, the next one. Ángel, read for Eddie Chen, please. I am 16 now. Okay, I think you cannot hear me. Guadalupe, read please for El Chen. Okay, uh, Denise Parker. Eddie Chen. Eddie, ah, okay, Eddie Chen. Uh, I'm 18 now and my parents don't give me uh, allowance anymore. I want to earn some money because you I like to go out with my friends on the weekend. I go to school at 8 and get home around 4.30. My parents own restaurants, so I know a little about restaurant, restaurant work. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Any question about vocabulary? Do you know what's an allowance? Allowance. Allowance. Allowance, yeah. It's, uh, it says, I am 16 now, and my parents don't give me an allowance anymore. 
ya los papás no le dan la mesada, esa cantidad de dinero que le dan a los hijos, ¿verdad? Como que usted le dé a sus hijos una cantidad de dinero semanal. Y va, te doy estos 10 dólares y te tienen que durar la semana. Esa es la allowance. Eh, he escuchado que le llaman mesada. Nosotros no tenemos eso. <risa> Casi. <risa> Casi que no está eso. Ok, an allowance es una mesada. Um, <coughs> Isaac, can you read uh, the other part of the paragraph, Denise Parker? Oh, Isaac ya leyó, ¿verdad? Quiero ver a quién más tengo por acá. ¿Quién levantó la manita? Um, Daniel. Okay. Denise Parker, I do believe a story. I make good money, but it don't say very much. We like in a small market. And we have a new baby. We want to save money to buy a house. I take care of the baby. So, so I need a job. I can do a home. I can take work. I, ha uh, I have a new computer. 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 Okay, I thought, well, and I have a new computer. Okay, different reasons because of what we need a job. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for joining this section. Today we finish the section two. Con esto terminamos la sección dos. Mañana empezamos la sección tres. Okay? So, tienen que tener completo el ejercicio de la plataforma ya, de la uh, sección uno y sección dos. Okay? Try to do it. Thank you for clicking and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for clicking. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs>